It's about finding what works best for you. Having a strong core and like just being all around a fitter person really helps me on the water. I kind of see it as each session is tightening all the nuts and bolts that connect all the muscle groups together because essentially the rowing stroke is a combination of all those different groups having to work together. So I feel if we don't have the core to support that, then we're not going to have that harmony between them all. What we have in the, the boat is a driving motion with the legs, which is connected through the core to the, the handle. So it's all very well being really strong through the, the legs and the arms, but if there's nothing connecting the two movements or two parts of the movement together, a lot of force is lost in the process. It's very important for people to be working alongside someone so that you can make sure that you can help them get into those good positions and not overload weight just because you want to lift heavy, it's better to lift more effectively. By getting stronger since being here, it's helped my posture in the boat, which has helped take away back injuries and things like that. Yeah, you can't just row all the time. Like you get, I get sick of it enough, so I think having coming in here three times a week just really breaks it up a bit, gives you a bit of time just away from the water and I think variety is a big thing as well. I think it's really important for rowers to have quite a balanced strength and conditioning program and that would include some sort of explosive movements, whether that be in jumps or mid ball throws or whether it be on Olympic lifts. Um, some lower body strengthening movements with double legs, so that might be on um, the squat, deadlift or leg press. Some single leg exercises as well, I think it's really good for the development of the hip hip area, so whether that be lunges, step ups, similar exercises, and then it should be pushing and pulling movements of the upper body. A good way of training for younger athletes will often be using their body weight, push-ups and pull-ups, um, using single leg squats and using med ball exercises, and then as their, their ability improves, we can start adding some load. So G Rowe, she's new this year, she's a bit raw, she kind of just gets in there and slaps some plates on and throws some weights up, so kind of like how she's got no fear. Best in the gym, Angus Moore, Josh Booth and Angus Whitaker are pretty, pretty consistent. Spencer Tone, Hamish Playfair also. But yeah, Hilly just, um, he does all the exercises but he spends too much time on his biceps. You've got Kat Wary good on the squats and Leah Saunders. You've got Sarah Hall who's good at deadlifts. Jacinta and Caitlin are really good at cleans and things. It's a bit of a competition with cleans of who's going to clean their own body weight first. But there's a lot of outstanding athletes when it comes to lifting.